from what I understand, you have to take the gene of an Indian elephant, which is the closest thing to a mammoth. Yeah, let me walk through the whole process. Yeah. So first you have to find ancient DNA, which is pretty shitty on a good day. So the minute we take DNA out of our bodies or out of anything, it starts to degrade at an insanely rapid rate. So we definitely need uh, to find a lot of samples. So we actually have about 109 mammoth samples, ranging from 3,000 years old to 1.2 million years old, which is awesome. Wow. But it's also fragmented. It's like it's like a shitty jigsaw puzzle that you don't know what the box is, and someone's stolen part of the puzzle. And then, oh, by the way, people have taken other puzzle pieces and put them in there. So there's all kinds mm. of problems with that. So this is really an AI and compute problem. It's not as much a human problem. So you have to get a lot of samples first, and then you have to start mapping them to their closest living relative. And genotyping allows us to understand that that's Asian elephants, right? So Asian elephants are 99.6% the same as mammoths. Mm. They're actually closer related to mammoths than they are to African elephants. Really? Yeah, which always blows people's mind. That and the fact that mammoths were alive when we were building the pyramids or aliens or whoever was building the pyramids. Like, <laughs> like literally, like humans were building the pyramids while mammoths existed. And sometimes that blows people's mind because they always think of them as in this like weird, like uh, prehistoric, like 65 million years old dinosaur. 